So I set up a little example uh, for the discussion, uh, just to kind of illustrate that there's actually a lot of different chart types that would be correct depending on the data that you are choosing to chart. And for all of this data, I would not choose to chart all of it. It's just too much uh, to actually put in a chart and have it make sense. So uh, I would be more inclined to maybe, if I was gonna show the sales, if I wanted to show the sales for the month, I would probably do it more by quarters, you know, and pick three months. Uh, if I did that, Uh, you'll notice that all of the basic chart types are under recommended. So you're going to have a clustered column where you can make uh, value comparisons. A stacked column. And again, um, it's emphasizing some volume here, like who's got the most sales. And then you can also kind of distinguish when those sales occurred. Uh, the bar chart is used for comparisons. And it's pretty easy to tell who has the most sales. <laughs> uh, area chart is typically uh, used for magnitude of changes or volume over time. And then here's another variation of a bar chart. A uh, scatter chart is used for comparing two sets of values. So you'll notice that we have points plotted. I do think that that type of chart is harder for people to understand, so I probably would not pick it. A uh, bubble chart is similar to a scatter. Uh, it is used for relationships between two sets of values. And again, um, these types of charts are a little harder for people to understand. A stacked column is emphasizing um, contribution to the whole. I don't know that I would pick this because you're losing uh, kind of the visual on who made the most sales. A funnel chart would be inappropriate for this type of data uh, because it's used to show uh, stages in a process. So if you maybe were working on a project and you had different stages completed, that would be appropriate for this type of chart. And I would not choose the, choose the Pareto either because uh, the Pareto doesn't typically chart multiple values. Let me choose it and see what it does here. Yeah, so we did get each of the reps, but as you can see, it's only charting January. So it kind of ignored some of our data. <laughs> so it's showing January and you know how the sales are contributing to the whole, but uh, it, we lost February and March, March with this chart type. So I would not pick it either. Um, so I would probably go with, uh, if I wanted to emphasize who was selling the most, I might go with the stacked column. Okay, just because visually you can see who is selling the most. Now that Pareto one would be actually good uh, if I wanted to look at the totals. So if I wanted to do something like this, a pie chart would be really good, or uh, the Pareto, because that is only gonna show, you know, one set of data. But it's nice because it is also showing how it contributes, you know, to the whole, like a pie chart. But then you can see, really see individual values quite well here too. So I probably would go with that if I was going to do totals. Uh, otherwise, if I was going to do quarterly information, uh, I would probably go with that stacked 
a stacked column, or I might go with a bar for comparisons. And I would definitely chart this information separate from vehicles sold. Uh, for the quarter, uh, we wanted to know which models of cars were the most popular for the first quarter. So I made up data and I kind of went with categories. And so if I went in to chart this, and I'm looking for what's popular. Again, I could choose uh, the bar, which is going to give me some rankings. I could choose the pie, because you can actually tell, looking at the wedges, which one is most popular. Or this last one is kind of an interesting one, because uh, we only have one set of values. So uh, this Pareto would actually also answer the question of which one is the most popular. And then if we went into all charts, other options would be area. You can tell pretty readily in the area which one is the most popular. And let me see if there's any other ones that. Yeah, combo wouldn't work for this, but we could use it in the other one. And you could always use column. Column, it works for almost everything. Okay, so it just depends on what you want to focus on. So if I wanted to do some trends, then I might choose line. Okay, so this would be sales trends. Now I am going to quick take a look at a combo chart so you guys can see how that looks. So if I do this data plus this, so I've got like the first quarter plus the total over here. And you can see here, this is actually giving me a combo chart of uh, the column and line. And I actually think that is by far the best chart type for this. Okay, so this is basically allowing me to see individual values. And then I get to compare that with the total. Okay, so again, what you choose depends on what you want to emphasize. So there really isn't a right or wrong here. 